Meanwhile, Magashule Kana has promised to redress racial issues. If he's elected interim Democratic Alliance leader, he'll be challenged by parliamentary leader John Steenhazen and DA Western Cape head Bonginkosi Matigizela. The official opposition will hold their internal elections this weekend. My colleague Hitekani Magwetze has more. He's been a DA member for almost 17 years and believes it may just be time for him to ascend to the driver's seat. There's no doubt that the, the events of the last few weeks haven't been good on us. You know, uh, There are people who are asking themselves whether the DA can continue being a, a political home for them. And it's up to leaders like myself who've been in the DA, uh, who have seen the DA going up, going down in some instances, to ro roll up our sleeves and continue to build this DA to be a, a true home for, for all South Africans. For us as a DA to, to remain relevant um, in the eyes of South Africans, we need to start talking about the issues of social justice, economic justice, environment justice, and that's, that's where uh, South Africans, majority of South Africans are. And I believe that uh, we are much better when we are together than when we are uh, apart in, in our different racial groups or, or different tribes. Taking a walk down the streets of Soweto, DA interim leader nominee Makashula Ghana says, although his roots are in Limpopo, he has found a home amongst the people of this township. I was uh, deployed to, uh, uh, to be a, a professional uh, councillor for Soweto. And when I once start uh, interacting with uh, uh, the people in Soweto, you realize that the struggles are not different from the ones that one uh, comes from the one that we continue to face uh, in terms of uh, uh, economic and social justice. Ghana has taken up the call from some party members to lead the official opposition. At face value, he appears to be slightly different from the usual brand of DA leaders that South Africans have come to know. I never tried to change myself for, I mean, in terms of where I come from. I mean, I'm a product of uh, a village that didn't, didn't have electricity, didn't have uh, running water. That's who I am. I, I associate with the struggles of uh, the majority of South Africans. And not once have I tried to be something that I'm not. So if you are, if you are being authentic and uh, consistent, of, over time, people will realize that, no, I mean, this guy really means business. Uh, Considering Ghana's proximity to ex-DA leader Musi Maimane, these types of sentiments may present him with a dilemma. And in the end, we've come to the conclusion that despite my best efforts, perhaps the DA is not the best vehicle which is suited to take forward the vision of building one South Africa. But he says my man's experiences are his own. Uh, I've, I've never been in a, a, as a leader, uh, like leading the party and experience what he experienced. But my 17 years experience has taught me that uh, I can, I can uh, withstand whatever pressures they, that, that might be coming from other members or different uh, members of society. So for me, for this particular position, whatever Musi decided, it's uh, out of his own experience and out of his own uh, uh, thinking in terms of his own political future. My, my, my commitment to the DA, my commitment to South Africa, uh, it's unshaken. I continue being committed to the DA. Ghana says is ready to face the alleged race issues plaguing the party that led to the resignation of former Johannesburg Mayor Herman Mashaba. So you cannot say you are, you are redressing a, a, an apartheid wrong and then in a non racial way. I mean, it was a crime against black people. So that redress needs to be uh, uh, for, for black people. So in South Africa's context, you, you, there's no way in this particular time you can say that race does not matter. Race matters, and gender matters in South Africa. So we must never get to a point where we say uh, there might may be in the future where uh, race will not matter, uh, gender will not matter, but it matters now. And that's where we are. That's the kind of the DA that we, we want to build. And for me, I'm unambiguous uh, on, on, on that particular stance. Ghana has, however, previously lost its campaigns to be elected as DA Gauteng Premier Candidate and Federal Chairperson. However, he maintains that his dedication to the official opposition isn't dependent on whether he wins this leadership race. Uh, I lost the Congress in 2015. Uh, I continue to campaign for the DA. We're a government of, uh, in, in Johannesburg, thanks to my work that I put in. Uh, when uh, I did not make it as a Premier Candidate 
in, in Gauteng for the 2019 elections, I continue to campaign because for me, it's never about me. It's about, uh, it's about the country, it's about the organization, it's about the future of the, of the kids, you know. So regardless of the outcome for me, the following day, uh, I'll, con I'll wear my, uh, my GA shirt with pride. For News from Africa on Channel 405, I'm Itekane Magwedze in Johannesburg.